Today we've got a toilet uh, that isn't flushing. So we're just gonna go through a few, few basic steps to check it. And then if we need to we'll replace the uh, filler inside. So really simple to do, all we need. A couple of adjustable spanners. Flat blade screwdriver. And a bolt to catch some water. Okay, so the first job is to isolate the water supply. So in this case, it's this little valve here. So if you turn the valve horizontal, and that shuts the gate inside, and that turns the water off to the tank. So the next job is to remove the cistern itself. So in this case, you just unscrew this. That comes out, that's threaded. That just controls the flushing of the toilet. And the cistern lid just lifts off, but that's somewhere safe. If you break that, you're going to need a new toilet. Okay, so that's the cistern lid off. So the next job is to have a look, we have a little rubber seal in here. So we take, get rid of that piece. Now the rubber seal's inside there, it can be quite tricky to get out. So there's like a plastic inner. If you really gently pull it apart, you don't want to split the seal. So we're just going to check this now. So as you can see there, that seal's gone. Now we can just replace this bit. Uh, I think they're about four pound off Amazon or you can get from any DIY place. Um, so you can either do that or you can replace the whole filler, which is about 10 pounds, something like that. Um, I will put a link to one on, uh, on the link below. However, they vary on the toilet, so you'd have to measure it, check that they're the right height. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna replace the whole filler. So before you take the filler out, you've just got to check in the bottom for water. There'll always be some in the bottom. So when you take this out, you undo the nut at the bottom. This will then come loose and the water, any remaining water that's in there will drip, drip out the bottom. So make sure you've got something underneath to catch it before you take that out. Okay, so you best to put uh, a towel down, some sort of bowl to catch the water. And then just underneath there, there is this little uh, nut. If you just undo that, uh, that will release the filler inside the cistern. First thing to do is release this. So you unscrew that, and we're just done with a adjustable spanner. And I need to have a little rubber inside there, like a, a tap isolator. So we've come so far and then you should be able to just undo it by hand. As you can see already, you see the water already, there's already water running down. So that'll be any, any water that's left in there. Now if it comes out at pressure, then that means that this valve isn't holding. So that's, that's that off look, that's that released. And now, So you just take that off and then pull the filler inside, out, out from inside. Uh, so I'll just do that now. Okay, so that's the filler unit. So we get that one out of the way. So I'll just get the uh, replacement one. As you can see, it's pretty much identical. The only difference with this is the bottom piece is brass. Okay, so this is the unit. So you can uh, alter the depth uh, that you want it, depending on the height of the system. So this one's pretty universal. 
So once it's in, we can set that to where we want. You can slide that ring down, that locks in place. And then this piece here, it's easy to show you when it's in out of the toilet. This piece here adjusts the float. So this is obviously the float. So as the water comes up from the bottom, pushes the float up, that seals this shut and stops it filling up. If this seals um, perish like the one in the one we've just took off, then that action doesn't work and it thinks the toilet's full. So now I'm going to put this in, tighten it up, uh, put the valve back on and then we'll check it from there. So the first thing to do, these come with a rubber washer, a lock nut and a seal. So the first thing to do is get your rubber grommet if you like and see how it's shaped. That curved bit sits down into the basin. So if you push that on a little bit tight So that will go into the toilet like so. And then I'll just put on underneath, I'll put the lock nut on and then I'll tighten the valve back on. Okay, so that's the filler in. And I've just got to connect the water supply. Now this here is a tap connector. You can, I don't know if you can see there's like a rubber seal on it. Now that rubber seal sits inside there and create a nice tight seal. Now if we didn't have that, if we had a normal isolate valve without this tap connector, then this uh, O-ring would sit between the two. In this instance, we don't need that. So all I've got to do now is connect them two together um, and then I'll be able to turn the water on. So that's that connected back up. So now all we need to do is gently turn this on. I've just turned it on a little bit. You can soon see if there's any leaks. We'll turn it on a bit. Let it fill up and then we'll have a quick look inside, see what's happening. So we'll turn that off. So that's it got water in. Can't see any leaks. Okay, so this is really difficult to fill, uh, film, but before we fill it up just at the bottom there you can see these like a little uh, just down there where my finger is just underneath uh, just down there where I'm pointing so if that's, yeah that's better so we're going to move that we can move this filler up and down so once you get the filler into the right position this just if I move that this olive then slides down, that's the black ring there, uh, slides down and holds it into position. So the first thing to do is to check the height so that we don't overflow. That's like an inbuilt overflow that. So we want the float to make sure we sit lower than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it down and I'm going to lock it. So yeah, it moves up and down so we're going to push it down lock it into place and then once it's locked into place we can then fill the tank up so just to make it a bit easier so you can actually see what I was trying to do uh, this little uh, black olive here is what locks it into position so you pull you pull this top part up and down when you've got it into the right height then uh, that black olive there, you push that down and it locks it into position. So that's what I've just done. So now we've got that into the tank. I'm just going to continue to fill it up. So I'll just put the camera into a different position. Okay, so that's me filling the tank up. So I'm just going to fill it up nice and slowly. If you keep your hand as well on the screwdriver to control the flow, if anything does go wrong, you can easily turn it off. So the water is just about to come up to the bottom of the float now. 
So we should start to see the float moving soon. That's the valve just starting to shut off. So that's it shut at that height. So if we wanted it to be, if we wanted more water in the flush, then this, uh, this here, you can alter that. And that alters the height of the float. So if we lift it up, then what will happen is you allow more water into the system. The only thing you have to watch is that that bit there is the internal overflow to the toilet. So if the water goes over that, then the water will continually run. So you best just allow, you best to have it a bit shallow rather than full. So that's that in place. So we're just going to check it works. Now this is uh, like the plunger off the top of the lid of the toilet. Let's screw that in just roughly and then if we press this and that's it starting to fill back up So that's the tank full again, now we know it's all functioning, we can take this off. Have a quick check for any leaks below just to make sure, but there shouldn't be any. So that's all nice and dry. And the next thing is to put the system top back on, that just sits in. And the plunger just screws back in. Screw that on. Don't don't over tighten it. You just have to nip it up. Always nice to have it sitting the right way. And then another press. And that's the job done. Okay, so that's the toilet all finished, all put back together. I'd say a really simple job. You might pay 10, 15 pound for the filler inside, but that particular one is guaranteed. Uh, so it's probably beneficial just to do that. Um, if you're having trouble turning the water off, we'll cover that in another video, but it's either, you've either got an isolator like that, and if you've not, you just need to turn the water off. That's normally a stopcock downstairs located in the kitchen obviously every house is different but normally kitchen under the sink is the best place to look so thanks for watching uh, like and subscribe i've got a few more diy videos 